Hello, lovely ladies and gents. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, I bet you're here because you're brand new to sewing. And one of the things that you need to know is what on earth do you actually need in your sewer's toolbox? Like what are the essential items and tools that you need to just get started and just get dressmaking? I'm gonna show you all the tools that I believe are the bare essentials that every dressmaker needs in their toolkit. So let's get started and let me show you through the loot. If we haven't met yet, my name is Evelyn Wood and I'm a dressmaker and sewing teacher and I specialize in vintage style. And here on this channel, I focus on teaching you all the tips and tricks to become a better dressmaker yourself. And so one of the questions I get asked a lot is what tools do you need? So every beginner sewer needs just a small amount of essential tools that will actually just get you started and get you sewing. So there's not very many, and these are just the starters that you'll want to start with. Now this will be a mini series of videos. This will be one in three. So I will all have the beginner sewing kit, and then also the sewing kit that you want next. So the upgraded sewing kit. So once you've been sewing for a little while, what you might want to upgrade to. And then I'm also going to do a video on what are my personal favorite tools and a little bit of my process and what I use when I'm dressmaking. So stay tuned for those ones in the coming weeks. First up, of course, you're going to need your sewing machine. That one's pretty obvious. Now, you're also going to need some different colored threads. Now, you'll need various colors. You can find them in thrift stores, like bags of random rolls of different colored threads. I suggest getting something like that to start with. You'll need some for all your main colors that you sew with. So of course, black, white, and all your favorite colors in between. And then what you're gonna need are some bobbins. So you'll probably want four, five, six different little bobbins so that you can put one in each color in because it is rather annoying if you only have one to have to take out all of the thread when you need a different color. So I recommend getting a few different bobbins for different colored threads. And next up, you will need your trusty unpick or seam ripper as you might also be called. Unfortunately, this is an essential part of dressmaking and you're definitely going to need it. It will be your best friend. Next up on the list are pins and a pin cushion. So you will need uh, pins to actually just pin your fabric together so it doesn't move when you're sewing, keep everything aligned and even marks and things as well when you're sewing. But you definitely need pins and I recommend a magnetic pin tray, maybe that's not as old as mine, uh, but it will keep all your pins on the pin tray, not like mine. So moving on to scissors. Now you're going to need a few different kinds. So first of all, you're going to need a really nice sharp pair for fabric. And these will forever be known as your fabric scissors and only ever be used to cut fabric. You don't want to use them for anything else because you don't want sticky tape to get on them and get all sticky and gunky. You don't want to use them for paper or things like that that it will blunt in them. You want to keep them really super sharp and these will always be your fabric scissors. And if anyone asks you to borrow your fabric scissors, you say no. And then of course you'll need some just regular craft paper scissors. This is what you'll use to cut out all your patterns and everything else that you might need. And these are just for your paper or anything else other than fabric. And while you're at the machine, you'll want some snips or some little scissors to cut all the little threads that you have uh, coming off your garment. And when you're finished pulling your threads out to snip them off, something smaller is a lot easier on the hand and you can get a lot closer in. So I either recommend something like these cute little stalks or these snips are actually fantastic, especially if you have like arthritis or anything um, with your fingers, it's a bit harder because these are actually very much more 
ergonomic uh, on your hand that you just press inwards and they snip rather than having to like close in and out with your fingers. So because you're doing a lot, that might be something to think about and consider. But you'll definitely want a nice little pair of snips or little scissors at your sewing machine for all those little, little items to cut. And you will need something to mark all your fabric with. So you can really choose. You just need something to get started. It could be tailor's chalk, it could be chalk in a pencil, or it could be a fancy sort of texter style uh, marker that erases with water. It doesn't really matter, just whatever feels comfortable to you and just something to get started with. You want something that will remove from a fabric. A regular texture or chalk or pencil is going to just stain your fabric. So you need something that will that is made for dressmaking and made for fabric so that it will not stain your all beautiful hard work. Now you will need something to measure and a tape measure is what you're going to need. I recommend getting one with both centimeters and inches on them uh, as sometimes different patterns might use different measurements and also these nice fiberglass ones are very flexible and they feel really nice to use. So you'll definitely need a tape measure in your toolkit. And one of the last items that you're really going to need is an iron. Now you don't need anything fancy at all, just the one that you have already will be fine. But you do need an iron. Every good dressmaker will sew a seam and then press it. That's the way that you should do things. So to get started, no fancy iron is needed. You just need something to make all your projects perfect. And I do recommend a pressing cloth. And by pressing cloth, I mean basically an off cut of some cotton fabric. Really, that's it. Just make sure it's 100% cotton and not a polyester cotton because that will melt. A cotton can withstand very high temperatures and that's what you need. So you'll use this to put down on top of your beautiful fabric that you're working on just in case um, you don't want the iron too hot because it could melt or it might leave a shine. Especially if you're new to dust making you might not have used an iron too much and a pressing cloth can save you from many an ironing disaster. So I do recommend using and getting one of these when you're starting and learning to sew because you're also learning a little bit about iron temperatures and what you can iron as well. And that concludes everything that should be in your dressmaker starter kit. So this is all the just bare essentials that you will need to get yourself going and get started. Now, if you want an actual PDF uh, download of all these items and a few links to some of the things that I've talked about here. You can go to my website, I have a link below in the comments box here where you can actually print out a PDF version of this list. So there's something to take home and something to actually shop on. So if you want that list, the link is below for that. And as I mentioned, this will be part of a three video mini series on all the dressmaking tools that you'll need. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, remember to like it. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and then you'll get notified of all of those videos I just talked about that I will be coming out with in the future. So thanks again for watching. I really hope this has given you a good starting point to all the tools and just the bare minimum things that you need to just get started and just get sewing. That is the main thing. Just start. So until next time, bye. Falling down.